performances on BBC4 and iPlayer. Hello, I'm Christian Frazier. You're watching Context on BBC News. Turkey's president says there has been significant progress in the latest face-to-face -face talks between Russia and Ukraine. In Istanbul, Russian officials said they will drastically reduce combat operations around Kyiv and the city of Chernihiv. But in the last hour, the White House has described it as a redeployment, not a withdrawal. Four people have been shot dead on the outskirts of Tel Aviv. It's the latest in a series of deadly attacks in Israel. Police fines for government officials who broke lockdown rules in Downing Street at the height of the pandemic. Boris Johnson has not received one, but police say there could be more coming. Tonight, with the context, the former UK National Security Advisor, Lord Peter Ricketts, and the Republican strategist, Rina Shah. Hello, a warm welcome to the programme. The Ukrainian foreign minister warned his negotiators who travelled to Istanbul for talks today not to eat, drink or touch anything that had come into contact with those representing the Kremlin. There to meet them was the Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich, seemingly recovered from a chemical poisoning he reportedly suffered in the previous round of talks. The level of suspicion does not augur well for the future of these negotiations. But the Russians did make a noticeable concession today. They have pledged to withdraw their forces from around the capital, Kyiv, which they've sold to the Ukrainians as a confidence-building measure. The Ministry of Defence...